My name's Father Raff, and I'm a member of the Congregation of the Resurrection, and I'm also a priest. Sixty years ago, Pope St. Paul VI made the fourth Sunday after Easter, also known as Good Shepherd Sunday, the annual World Day of Prayer for Vocations. And I think that was on purpose, because Good Shepherd Sunday tells us something about why priests are important for us. I decided to ask some young people why they think priests are important. So but if I say like priest, what's the first thing that comes to mind for you? Uh, like our father, Father Yamros, who teaches every mass. Thank you. So Marissa, when I say priest, like what's the first thing that comes to mind for you? Um, like the word priest? Yeah. Like the guy who's like at the front talking about Jesus in front of like everyone and stuff. Yeah. And, and so why do you think priests are important for us? Because like if there was no priest, then it's like, Sure, like people would talk about Jesus and stuff, but like when you go to church, there'd be no one like actually talking, sharing stories and stuff like about him. That was really interesting. Now, why don't we see what some other people think? At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. So my name is uh, Douglas Crosby. I am currently the Bishop of Hamilton and I'm a priest of the Roman Catholic Church. So Jesus we believe is the, the Good Shepherd and as the Good Shepherd he guides us and leads us and draws us and teaches us. So in the church we we need Good Shepherds. We need Good Shepherds to do precisely that, to teach us and to guide us and to draw us always closer to the Lord. So it, it's natural that Good Shepherd Sunday is Vocation Sunday. It's a time when we realize the importance of, of the vocation to the priesthood, to religious life, to service of the Lord, so that there are good shepherds to care for the sheep, to proclaim his message, to attend to the needs of the sheep, and to go out when they are sick, to pray for them, to minister to them, and to draw them closer always to the Lord. I'm Paula Rush. I'm a catechist for the Catechesis of the Good Shepherd, which is a an approach to faith formation with children. So I accompany children in the faith. I don't teach them the faith, but I think about it with them. Well, we spend a lot of time in this program thinking about Jesus as the Good Shepherd. And you know, he proclaims that, he says, I am the Good Shepherd and I call my sheep by name. People know that the priest is Christ to them in a way that we don't always recognize each other. And so, in particular ways, they are with people at moments in their lives when they're full of joy, like at baptisms and at weddings when people join together in love, but also in times of deep distress, anointing of the sick, and times when people really need to experience God's mercy. Pope Francis says that they are shepherds of the sheep but in order to be effective, they have to smell like the sheep. So a sheep can only follow somebody that they can smell, that smells like one of them, but also like something a bit more. My brother's a priest and he's a goofball. And he's still a goofball even though he's a priest, <laughs> but he's a little bit more, right? So he smells like one of us, he's goofy, but there's also a smell of something beyond. You know, when I was in high school, I remember coming to the end of my high school years and wondering, what am I going to do with my life? I had to start thinking about the long term, not just the next few months, but the long term. And I knew that the priesthood was on my mind, but I really didn't know if I was called 
to the priesthood. And so I remember uh, going to Mass often during the week and just sitting in the back of the church, wondering and thinking and praying, Lord, give me some, give me an idea about this. Is, is this what you want me to do? The message that I was getting is, give it a try, give it a year. And then I gave it another year and another year. And finally, I knew at one point in my life, I knew that this was the right way for me. And if they are just ordinary people who are called to something more, how would anyone ever feel like they were worthy, that they could actually do that? And in the moment when they know that they are acting as Christ for someone, do they feel that sense of, of something going on through them, but not of them. I think that that's what the Holy Spirit does, is just, just come, just be there, and let me do the rest. So we heard some interesting things about the priesthood and Good Shepherd Sunday, but you know, I think like, we don't really see sheep a whole lot these days. And so sometimes I think what Jesus has to say to us about God's love for us and how it's like a shepherd and the sheep is really lost in us. But you know, if you spend even a little bit of time around sheep, you notice a lot of similarities between them and us. Sheep are social creatures. They're also very prone to wander. They can get frightened easily, but they can also act tough when they need to be. I think we're kind of like that too. Sometimes we feel like we need to act tough, but I don't think any of us wants to be tough all the time. You know, sometimes it's good to know that there's someone else to take care of us. That's what really Jesus is trying to tell us when he says that he is the good shepherd and we are his sheep, that he is the one who takes care of us. And we experience the care of the good shepherd through the ministry of priests and through religious and through anyone else working in pastoral care. So that's why it's important for us to pray on the World Day of Prayer for Vocations, because without, without these people, we won't experience the care that the good shepherd has for us, his sheep.